we're going to take a look at the TCP flow control. So we're going to look at windowing. So it's a type of flow control. And basically it just says, how much data can we send before we need an acknowledgement? So you can imagine if you send um, a, a segment and then you have to acknowledge each one, that can get a bit tedious and slow things down. So what we do is we use windowing. So you can send, let's say, 5,000 bytes. So every 5,000 bytes you send, uh, we need an acknowledgement. Much better than sending an acknowledgement for each, let's say, each segment is 1,000 bytes. So you need to have at least like five acknowledgements. So I would highly recommend that you check out my first video. So that'll help explain the segments, the sequence numbers, and the acknowledgements back and forth, how they work back and forth with uh, sending data. So basically how to count. So go watch that. So this will make a lot more sense. And uh, let's jump right into it. So we have a client, Farley and she wants to buy lots and lots of socks. She needs all the socks because it's the new hip thing. So she goes to socks.com. And it's encrypted because we need to keep our, our socks a secret. So first DNS happens, we need an IP address. And then after that, we can set up a TCP session with the server. So we have the three-way handshake, covered that in the previous video, how that worked. So after the three-way handshake, we go on here and we do a get request. So we're going to get the socks. We need socks. And this is what a get request would look like. So we send 601 bytes and uh, we get an acknowledgement from the server saying, hey, um, I got that 601 bytes and the next one I expect is 602. Next segment coming back from the client. So now we start sending the data. So here's the data stream. So our window size right now is 2,904 bytes it looks like. So we send two segments before we need an acknowledgement from the client here. So we start with one inclusive and count up 1,052 which gives us a count of 1,452 bytes we sent so far with this segment. So the next segment we send down here should start with 1,453 because now we're sending the next byte in order. We should start with the 1,453rd one, byte. We're going to start with that and we're also going to send that um, another payload of 1,452 bytes. So that adds up to um, 2,904 bytes we sent so far with this stream. And we have an acknowledgement from the client back saying, hey, um, I got that 2,904 bytes and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the, the 2,905th coming back this way, the next packet that comes. So let's say, for example, uh, we didn't get this segment here. Boom, this is gone. We only got the first one. So what should our acknowledgement be here going back? So we start with one, right? And we end inclusive, the first, the, the, the byte one, and we add 1,452 bytes, which gives us um, 1,452. And uh, the client would receive this here, and it would have an ACK here of 1,453. The reason why is because it received at 1,452 bytes, starting with the sequence number we count up, and uh, we're ready for the 1,453rd byte, which is this right here, which we should have received, but somehow this was gone, this disappeared. So that's what the acknowledgement should be. Now if we get something weird like we lose this one, but we get this one, it's a little weird. Uh, there's more to the protocol, as always, is TCP is a complex protocol, and there's a lot to it, but there's a thing called selective acknowledgement, so you can say you've received certain segments or whatever, but haven't received others. I haven't really looked into it, but that's a little bit more complicated. So just bear with me. So now that we have, it looks good. So far, we received an OK HTTP, a stream, 
and we got an acknowledgement. Things are looking good, so it's, the connection is good. So let's increase our window size. So now the server sends even more, right? This stream here we're sending is part of this too. The HTML code is kind of a big web page. So now we send even more information this time without receiving acknowledgement. So the window size now is 4,356 bytes we can send before we need an acknowledgement. So same counting up. 2,905, we're sending the 2,905th byte, and we're going to start there, and we're going to count up 1,452, because this segment has that payload, 1,452 bytes. So our next sequence here, sending out, should be, four, because if we add up inclusive, it should be, we should have sent so far, totaling this whole stream going to the client, 4,356 bytes, and we start with 4,357th byte because that's the one we're starting to send with this segment with its next payload. So it's just um, starting the next the next byte in order. So we keep on doing that all the way down here, and uh, we have an acknowledgement of 7,261. Because um, if we look at order all these up just by simple counting, and we look at the sequence here, the last one, and we add 1452, we get um, a total inclusive. We start with the 5,809th 5, byte, counting starting there, counting up 1452 bytes, we get a total of 7,260. And this acts as I receive the 7,260, and the next packet I should see next down here should be uh, start with 7,261. Sure enough, we go down here when we start ending the connection. Um, that's what we see coming back this way. So there was a lot more than that. So recap: through a handshake, get request. Uh, we received some data back, increased the window size because the connection is good. Connection is good. And then we end the uh, the TCP session. There was a lot more data in between here, but I just decided to manually here in my uh, flow chart to end it to show you what it looked like if it would um, the TCP session would end. So let's do the same thing again with this bigger um window size here. So let's say, for example, uh, we lost these two. Bam. We didn't get the last two. So what should our window size be exactly? Our, I, I mean, uh, our acknowledgement here. Which do you think the client will send back? So simple math. We start with the 2,905th byte, counting their inclusive. We add up 1,452. Which gives us 1,009. So it would be 4,356 bytes we sent. So our acknowledgement for just this one packet should be 4,357, right? We received 4,356 bytes, and I'm expecting. 4,357. You'll notice that's the next one that we sent but never made it. And that would be our acknowledgement for if we just received this, if we just received this packet here. So hopefully that gives you a good idea how acknowledgements um, work when you lose data, right? The window size a little bit. So when the window si when the connection is good, the window size gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You start losing packets. Uh, I showed you what the acknowledgement the acknowledgements should be, and then if you start losing packets, the window size shrinks. So it kind of um, it's really nice. So that's why in a lot of connections you'll see they start out slow because the window size is small, and then if the connection is good, it'll start to grow. Like we had two segments we could send. Since the connection is good, now we can send three segments before we need an acknowledgement back this way. So, thank you for watching.
Have a nice day.